Sudden infant death syndrome is a sleep-related death of an infant under one year of age. In the past, parents were left with the fear that it might happen to their baby and were helpless to prevent it. Progress has been made through research and now new devices are used to alert parents of possible hampered breathing. Dr. Ray Chang of LA Biomed tells us about this new device. Such as sudden infant death syndrome, uh, it's typically used uh, as a term to describe uh, as a cause of death for infants who die suddenly, mostly during sleep. Conventional cardiac respiratory monitors for SIDS prevention is, is you have a pretty big, big bedside monitor and you have a bunch of sensors wrapped around the baby's chest so when the baby sleep and, and the parents can use. The problem with this is one is it's not very easy to use and generally uh, there's a lot of trouble to put it on. And, and most uh, problems that parents report is, is false alarms. And I think the reason it doesn't prevent SIDS is, is as cardiorespiratory parameter changes are really too late to intervene to prevent SIDS. My son, Kalia Christopher Jennings, passed away at 19 weeks from SIDS. It was obviously very difficult. Um, and it was very, very, very tough on our family. And our girls at the time were five and two. We decided to have another baby and we had another boy, which made us very nervous. About two months prior, we started talking about different monitors and the monitor we used was a, like a sleep apnea, was supposed to be for actually preemies. When there was a false alarm, it went off almost like a dead battery in a fire alarm at, in your home. So you can imagine that sound going off all the time. The machine that you had to carry around everywhere, it, it would, even when the baby was awake, the monitor would just go off. So we actually turned it off and I returned it. I went, after about a month, I couldn't handle it anymore. It wasn't worth it. We are developing an uh, infant sleep environment monitor that can uh, detect any changes of a baby's sleep environment that puts the babies at risk for SIDS. Therefore, they give uh, the warning to the parents to intervene before SIDS occurs. This is our prototype of a infant sleep environment monitor. This monitor will detect the baby's body position and uh, a carbon dioxide level, body temperature, and breathing sounds. On a baby mannequin, we have the prototype sits monitor attached. When the baby sleeps, the recommended position is supine, which is uh, on baby's back. Uh, and any change in the bo uh, body position, such as on the side, or a face down that increase the baby's risk for SIDS. Also, it detects uh, two other risk factors. One is, uh, well, other than the body position, the other is when the baby's face is covered by the blanket. The covering of the face or the head will uh, trigger two things. One is the CO2 or carbon dioxide will start to accumulate right around the mouth and the uh, nose area. Second thing when the face is covered is the temperature will rise. And we call this the heat stress. When uh, the baby's face is covered, they cannot get rid of the extra heat. Then the temperature started rising, and that will be also be enough to uh, affect the baby's breathing. So we have the monitor that detect uh, the body position, face covered when CO2 rise and temperature rise. And this will alert the parents to uh, lift up the blanket or turn the baby back uh, to uh, original sleep position. And if no intervention is done and after um, a, a period of time, the baby's uh, breathing will eventually slow down and become irregular. Then our respiratory sensor will be able to detect that as a last line of defense to issue emergency alerts to the parents to intervene right away. To test our uh, monitor prototype, we're currently uh, enrolling 20 infants four to six months of age to come to LA Biomed in our sleep laboratory to sleep overnight and to be monitored by this uh, sleep environment monitor. Uh, the reason that we chose four to six months of age is one is typically under six months of age is uh, uh, at a higher risk for uh, SIDS. And, and second is by about four to six months of age, Typically, the, parent, the, the infants will be able to roll over and move around uh, during the sleep, and that would, uh, would be one way that we can test our sensors to make sure that they register all the parameters that we're monitoring for. 
parents can feel relieved knowing that they have the ability to be alerted if their baby is in distress. Now both parent and baby can sleep safe and sound. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.